Hello everyone, here is Max and I'm at TGUAD, which stands for Talman's Gearhead University and I'm here with Jen. Hello Jen! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! How are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Are you enjoying your time? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's fabulous. Yes, it is. So we met up here today to play some jazz, right? Right. And now? Uh, no, we're not. Okay, <laughs> Wrong. We're, not uh, we're gonna be checking some guitars. Uh, here's the deal. I have two guitars for you. Okay, I really don't know what he's coming up with now. So this is super live, as live as it can get. So what do you got? Um, but first of all, a couple of questions. You are playing Ibanez guitars. For how long? It's a couple of years by now. I think four or five years I'm with Ibanez and I'm really happy. It was my first guitar that I that I bought, like literally bought. I worked for it and I bought it from my money that I earned with working. And it was a S470DX and I still have that one. Okay. It's It looks really rocked down, <laughs> but I love it. And uh, for years I've been, like for a couple of years, I went to another company, I played Yamaha guitars. And then I came to that point where I was like, I want to go back to the roots, you know, yeah. where, I, where the heart is, where it all started. And I sent an email to Ibanez and they were like, Yes! Nice. And I'm super happy with them. It's really, it's really great. Yeah, I, I noticed Ibanez has given everybody a very good wipe here. I really love it. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. just, it's just the best company. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. So how long uh, are you playing this kind of guitars, like Jam, RGs, whatever? Well, I pretty much started with the RG series when I joined back to Ibanez. I remember back in the days they gave me two RGs 2550 and something else. 25, okay. Yeah. And uh, that was pretty awesome. But then 2015, I totally fell in love with this one. Um, I know it's a Steve Vai model. It's apparently very. No, no, no. Clear. They just got the. They just uh, got one, one letter wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a gem, but it should be a gen. Wait, anyway. I, I fix that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really fell in love with this guitar. And uh, you know how people always say, like, oh, that is my one guitar that is like perfect yeah and I've always been like okay maybe it's just a guitar you like to play maybe that's the one yeah until I met this little lady and I the first time I played her it was like we became one there was oh, okay. not person and wood it was like one whole thing and I was like oh that is what everybody talks about when they say they hey I found my perfect guitar so um, yes, I know it's a signature model by Steve, but I modified it a little bit just to talk a little bit about this guitar. It's a blue floral <laughs> pattern uh, from the new series. Some of you might remember the old series because it was out there. When was that? Do you remember? I have no idea. And uh, they stopped producing it and came up with this one like 2015. And um, I just, I think the finishing is just beautiful. Um, the neck is, because it's a premium guitar, you know, Ibanez have those prestige yeah, and yeah. the premium ones. And the premium ones, are a little bit more affordable, of course. Yeah. So I was like, okay, th wait a minute, this is a jam premium. And I tested it and the neck is just perfection for me. It's because I can't really deal, even though Ibanez are famously known for their super wizard necks. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of super wizard necks because I don't know for some players it's perfect, but for me it's not. Like I like to grab my guitar like this and it's very edgy. So whoever can play on a super wizard neck, cool. I don't like it. So I always need a little bit more wood, but not too much, you know, mm -hmm. not like that baseball kind of wood. If Henning was there, he would say, that's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, Henning is just a priceless guy. Um, well, the biggest modifications that I did on this one is, first of all, I have a signature of Richie Kotzen here. And I, I told him the minute he signed it because <laughs> Richie and we bumped into each other a couple of times and we're friends. And I was that's like, cool. may inspiration and talent float into the wood and into me. <laughs> I think he's awesome, Richie. Hi. Um, the second one, I the second thing I modified with this guitar is, I had uh, Matt Hatter guitar products work on that guitar. So uh, for those of you who don't know what Matt Hatter guitar products is, yeah. um, I can't really explain it. I can only make it like a long story short. Yeah. So I have <laughs> this one as a push pull podi. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That literally turns because the wiring of all those pickups is different. So that I've got the there's a long combination of letters that actually explains it, but it's the terminator kit. And by pushing and pulling, it turns my five way switch into a ten way okay. switch. So if we go clear clean. Mm -hmm. 
Is that loud enough? And if I push it, no, I pull it now. Yeah, you get another chance. So I would, I would have like a mid boost inside of my guitar. And that's really, really cool in studio when you're recording because you have more options. Absolutely. Now I zip the lip about this beautiful guitar. Well, I love her. I have to show you mine. Uh, there are like tons of options. You will love it. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> some, some other. Dude. So what are we doing? I'm terrified now. Uh, well, would it be fair to say that you kind of feel comfortable with these kind of guitars, RGs and jams, and that you know them? Shit. <laughs> what I got myself into? What are we doing? Like. Well, I, yes, I mean, yeah. absolutely. I like the shape of those guitars and I feel comfortable with them. And I can, for example, play, oh, this is not my brand. I don't like them. And so, <laughs> you know, yes, okay. Tell me what's happening. So, here's the thing. I have two guitars. Uh, I'm not telling you what they are. They are Ibanez guitars. And uh, I want you to play both of them, one after another, or maybe okay, in, that's in, in, in random order. Fine. But your eyes are going to be closed. So, what I want to hear from you, I want you to play guitar and tell me what you feel. Oh, okay. And what's, what's the difference? What's the difference between the two? That's it. That's uh, what we're looking for. Okay, well, we can give it a try. I totally suck when it comes to models and names, and especially no, Ibanez no. has those numbers. Here's like... the thing. Exactly. We don't need models. We don't need names. Okay. We need feelings. Okay. What's the what, what, what it feels like. Oh, it puts me into trouble. <laughs> I mean, oh my you, God, I'm you know, terrified. Just as you said, you, you, take, you take this guitar and it feels right. Okay. Correct? Right. Uh, you take some guitar and it feels yeah. like, what the heck? It feels like, hey, my leg is dying because you're too heavy. Yes. Exactly. So that's what I want to hear from you. Okay, well, it's I'm, like, I'm this up for that. This one is a bit, you know, tight or, you know, okay. boomy or something. I'm a little okay. nervous now. <laughs> okay, so on the four, I've got... Oh, jeez! <laughs> What's coming up now? This. Oh, God. That's one for you. And that's one for you? Uh, You'll be blindfolded too? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. That, that would be double fun, I guess. <laughs> like, I put that one on now. Okay. Let's see. Probably look like... Can you see anything? Uh, do the test. No, she can't. All right, so I'll just... I look like a moron now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. So I'll just turn off the amp for a sec to take this guitar from you. Yep. Hey, I'm... be careful. That's my favorite I one, right? I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. I... I'm very careful with it. Oh, God. What did I get okay. myself into? It's already on eBay. Don't worry. <laughs> so, um, okay. first of all... Actually, that smells you... good. Where did you... Where did you get this from? Uh, from... <laughs> <laughs> it smells a little bit like um, ginger or something. It smells like something, yeah. All right, so here's the cable. I'll put it in. Here's the guitar. Here we go. Okay. I'll turn on the amp. Oh, can I get my pick? Where is my pick? It's on my guitar. <laughs> oh, uh, I got it. Yes, here you go. Okay, I hope it's in tune, it but is. it's an Ibanez guitar, so of course yes. it's in tune. Ooh, that's short. Okay, so uh, first of all, <laughs> it's that weird. <laughs> it's totally weird to do that. So it's warm, so I guess it's stood in the sun. Um, okay, let's, let's start from the top. Yeah. It's clearly an RG shape. It has no handle, no monkey grip, so it's... And it's short! It's it? like super tiny. Wow. Or my arms just went longer. Um, it's, we've got a Floyd Rose. We have the normal knobs that I use as well. And a five switch probably, right? Yes. So we have... Wait, I can't feel it. Is that weird? I've never done something like that. Okay. Humbucker, single coil, and that's... Humbucker again. Okay. Okay, nice. No. Okay, 
Okay. What, so, does, what does it feel like? It feels... Wait, what's that? What is that? Oh, that's just a screen damper. Okay, it's not part of... Okay. I was like, huh? Okay, it feels short, like I said. So I guess it's a smaller guitar, like short scale for, I don't know, kids or something? And I guess it's one of the... The sound is pretty good. Um, I wanted to say it's the, one of those geo affordable ones. And the neck is also not too flat. It's not a super wizard neck, absolutely not. And uh, I would, ah, oh, geez. If I would have to guess, I would call it one of, let me see. It's here down there. So I would say it's one of those geo guitars, but it sounds really massive. So the geo guitars are like one model line that are very affordable guitars, but it plays really good and comfortable. And do they come with equipped with a Floyd Rose and... Jews? No, they don't. No, they don't. I don't Shit, think they I do. suck. <laughs> okay, so it's not... But, okay, generally, does it feel good? Yes, it does. Okay, then let's go don't to the Don't tell next... me it's a different brand now. Uh... <laughs> it feels good, it just feels short. Just as I said, this is an Ibanez guitar. Okay, let's uh, switch to another one. And oh uh, let's just check what the difference is. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have this, this one. so weird. No, it's Hello, okay. mom. If uh, you see this, okay. I say hi to you. And we've got another guitar here. Okay. Which is also very beautiful. You will see it very soon. And I need your cable. Cool. Uh-huh. And here you go. Wait, where is it? Here, right here. You got it? Yes. Ah, okay. Um, the amp is on. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's a super wizard because it's flat and I immediately feel it. It's, it's, yeah. We've got Floyd Rose again, like two knobs. I get five way switch probably. Is it the same? One, no. It's always fun if you have a guitar player trying to touch things with the left finger and <laughs> yeah. fingertips. It's like, I'm not. It's unnatural in a way, right? Okay, wait. That's, okay, hamburger, single call, hamburger, right? Yes. And we probably have like 24 frets, okay. <laughs> The sound is way more thicker. It's, it's I don't know, low, mid, and something is thicker and, and more mighty than the other one. Okay, I can give you the other one real quick. Okay, are we on set? Okay. Oh, well. All right. Here you go. You know what I did to my guitars? I put an arrow here where the plug-in is. Yeah. <laughs> so just because can, if, you can, if you're yeah. playing and you have to switch guitars right. fast, you go yeah. like an idiot looking for exactly. the right. Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty annoying. Okay. That one, whatever it is, costs more. I don't know if I'm right, but my feel is like that one costs more. This is also like a glossy neck, so... Hmm. But it's two RGs. Like this gotta be an RG, so we have a pick guard here. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Isn't it fun? <laughs> <laughs> it's super weird. I've never really super weird neck. Like that. <laughs> Shall okay. we switch again? Yes. All right. 
And here, ah. here you go. Yep. Okay. And it's on. Output. This one is like ah, right in your face. All right, shall we it's... open your eyes? No, wait. Oh, not yet. Okay. Let me. So this one has a pick art too. I heard something. That's fine. That just camera restarted. You hear everything. If you're blindfolded, you're yeah. super sensitive. Yeah. Okay, I have a guess. Go ahead. Let me smell the color. Well, this looks definitely like a bright neck. It feels like a bright neck. Because it's, I, I know, it's all of my guitars that have like a super wizard, so it's maple. And I feel like, and I'm literally, I'm not bullshitting, I can't see anything, but... <laughs> so it's yours now. Mm. It tastes like a purple Genesis. <laughs> hmm. Because you can feel this one in the back. That's the Genesis series. And the neck is... I go for a purple Genesis with this one. The other one, I have no clue what it is. That's a good guess. So, okay, let's switch over again. Oh, I need to taste the color of the other one. <laughs> uh, you don't necessarily need to do that wait, <laughs> with wait. this guitar. Here. Here you go. Okay. I was just checking if you gave me my guitar. Okay. <laughs> It's a good guitar, but I really, I have no clue what this one is. Well, open your eyes. Oh Jesus, you're yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, is that yours? Yes, it's mine. Oh fuck. <laughs> but it's, it's why, why does it feel so small? I don't know. It's, it's like, it's, it feels short. Shit, I do you know what, the color wrong. Do you know what this is? What, what is it? Tell me about it. It's one of the first RG's 550's built, oh 1987. Oh my god! And this is the Genesis. And this is the new version, yeah. the Genesis. Yeah. Damn it! That is awesome. Look at those colors. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was absolutely fun. Did you show that guitar to me earlier? Probably Yesterday not. Or, no, right? No. I, I could have not. It's super well, Because I planned it like a week ago. It's, Remember? Yes. <laughs> it's super weird. <laughs> Love your guitar. Really nice. Awesome. But I'm but, not changing. I'm not trading my one. <laughs> but now that I that I look at them, because. I've never seen this one this close before. They really are different. Yes, look there at the are back. quite a few differences. It's like that's yeah. how, how you realize it's a Genesis guitar. Oh, okay. And the neck is really different. Yeah, look. Like this one is glossy. And we've got five, well, literally three pieces it's with a, a couple of. Three piece neck, yes. Yeah. And that's the one piece in, neck. Yeah. That's interesting to see. That's how they used to be just back in the 80s. And this thing is here. Yeah. This one likes it. And, uh, you know, they. Uh, yeah. They, Top lock screws go all the yeah. way through. And here we they don't, don't have do that. here. Yeah. What else is different? Let's see the Floyds. Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> uh, the license under Floyd Rose patent is gone now. <laughs> so it's not licensed anymore, <laughs> probably. But they are pretty much the same, right? They look pretty close, I'll say. Yeah. I can't really see a difference in the, that. They even got like, the screws right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really see. A major difference. Maybe they made it a little. No. Pickups are different, actually. Yes. Because when I got this guitar, before I got it, I was like, wow, I want Puff Pro. Okay. 
And when I actually bought it, it already had it. Okay. So I was like, I don't oh, need awesome. even to change anything. It's like ready to go. But it's really interesting to see those two generations of guitars. Oh yeah. How they how they developed and and now they're building these incredible beauties, and it's literally the neck. I feel a difference. It's not the same neck. Yeah. I really feel. This one a difference feels thinner, right? Yes, even, that's absolutely. Even thinner than that one because out of all of my guitars, and I have probably like. 12 or something, this one has the thinnest neck. That's the thinnest neck? I have. Whoa, okay. Well, I mean, this is like a typical super wizard neck. All, most of the, I don't want to say all, I don't want to say anything wrong, but most of the uh, Ibanez Prestige come equipped with a super wizard neck. And this is a, a semi-gloss, or a, I'd say satin yeah. finish probably. And, and that, I, that I really like glossy. that, but this one is glossy. Yeah. Let's put them together on the, on the floor, because I really feel that this one is shorter. It's not, is it? It's impossible. Yes, it is. I can is see it? it. Look at here, you can see it. It's nah, shorter. Ah, not really. It is! No! Come on, you just don't have the right angle. Look at it. Nah, no, not at all. You know what, we can just take a, a cable. Measure it, really. It feels so different, this is incredible. I measure things with, by using Cables. a cable. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to measure, scale? Yeah. Here we go from the measuring guitar scales with cables. Well, that's the right way to do that, right? So here we go. Okay. Wait, let's put it like this. So you have the same angle. That is fascinating. So what is different on it, this it just, one? It just, it's exactly the it's same the length, same. but it feels different. It's so weird. So they like, got the length Really, right. I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe this is like, like a, one of those smaller versions. But I had the fascinating thing with one of the, how is it called, the sea foam, that green, blue-ish yeah. uh, gem. Yeah. And I played it and I was like, this feels like a, like a smaller guitar. That one feels big, that one feels small. Super fascinating. I, th I think that's the neck, the neck that makes a difference. I what like about, them both. What to about be the frets? The frets are the same, right? The frets are the same. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I don't see a difference in that. Those are like big, big frets. Huge. Maybe it's even like I don't know, but maybe it's just the glossy neck that makes it feel probably a little bit thicker. Well, I it's, have it's no definitely idea. the neck that that is that makes it feel differently. Absolutely, absolutely. And th this thing. Yes. The. I don't know what it's called. The, thing, the, thing. <laughs> uh, the part there with yeah. the neck and the head. Yeah, that's like that's a major difference between the old ones and the new ones. That, that was a weak point here, so they decided to you know reinforce it a little bit. That's yes. a standard solution for that. And uh, yeah, you asked what this is, what the, what this was. It just yes, because uh, I hate I hate this. I can, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay, great. Wait, there's something <laughs> fluffy on here. What is that? That was unexpected. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. Alrighty, well, uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, thank you for, you know, agreeing for this without knowing what it actually was. I was scared, <laughs> yeah. I was scared. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun, really, checking out the differences between the old model and the new one. Like those, it's like seeing two generations of the same guitar. It's you time know, machine. Like, it's awesome. It's really interesting. And the longer we sit here, the more details I will probably find. Yes. You know, this one actually feels sharper on the edge. Yes, it does. It's a little bit softer here, right? Yeah. That's what I check yeah. when, I, when I check that corner. Like, it's a little bit softer. It's, yeah, there's a difference too. Like, let me see in the back. How does it look on the back? So it's... Exactly oh, I, I think the the one I have it doesn't have the the holes in it. It's just uh, plain. Oh yes, back in thing. the days you yeah. didn't have those. That's right. That's true. But you would also have that shape for the neck joint. It's almost the same. Yeah, I guess it, it it looks the same at least. Oh, and another difference. Even if it's well, I've changed those. Oh, you uh, changed those? Yeah, because I did. They come with those originally. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I have those at home. But okay. I, I'm using the strap like so. I, I okay. have those on all my guitars. <laughs> you know what? This part here lo even looks different. See? 
how, maybe the whole shape of the how far it is yes. here it's less body and more pickguard but the pickguards are the same maybe that's the reason why it feels smaller look at the at the at the outlines here yeah i feel as if there is a little bit more yeah. wood yeah and it's the, kind, the maybe just because here. it's edgy a little bit yeah the distance here is different absolutely here is the difference down there, everything is the same, right? Yeah, pretty so. much. <laughs> All the same screws. It's fascinating. How does this part look on the new generation? It's the same, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. The same shape. Do we have gotos on there? We have gotos on here. Yes. Yep. It's the same. But definitely cool. I was scared of what the <laughs> what what are you coming up with? But that was actually really cool. Well, uh, I told you it's going to be Ibanez, so uh, you know I didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Thanks so much. That was fun. That was Genma Jury, everybody. Well, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this one. Put your comments below. Subscribe. Check her stuff. She's doing thanks. really cool. <laughs> Thank and, you. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for having me. How long have I been blubbering? Half an hour. Really? Yeah. Are you fucking shitting me? I'll tell you all the stories later because we're now on okay, the studio we're, time. Okay, oh shit, we're still recording. <gasps> yeah, we're still recording. Outtakes.